Good morning, friends. It's another Tuesday morning on the back porch here at the Sosby house, and we're glad you're joining us. We hope you're well and everything's going well with you. Continue to pray for uh, Jan's dad. He's still struggling with this uh, last, most current bout of cancer, and we covet your prayers in that regard. Um, a couple days ago, we sang this song we're going to sing this morning at a, a memorial service for a friend of ours, Mr. Ralph Thorpe, who went home to be with the Lord um, a couple weeks ago. He likewise had a long battle with cancer, That, um, uh, but I tell you, Ralph was a, a Christian to the nth degree. He lived what he believed, and uh, I, uh, I know he's with the Lord today, and he is just... Uh, in basking in the glory of being with the Lord Jesus Christ. The um, thing about this song, most people have heard it, uh, especially if you like Southern gospel music, but most people don't necessarily know what the word Beulah means. They've heard the name Sweet Beulah Land. They've heard the song. It's The word Beulah is only mentioned once in the Bible in Isaiah, and it talks about the land of the marriage ceremony, the, the marriage feast, if you will. Um, and the marriage is talking about, Isaiah is talking about, is the marriage of the bride, um, the church that we're a part of, and the bridegroom, which is none other than Jesus Christ himself. And Jesus spoke of this relationship between himself and his church, the bride-bridegroom relationship. Many times he spoke about it, literally he spoke about it in parables, um, and this one parable came to my mind as I was thinking about being prepared for the, the coming of the bridegroom, uh, which honestly can take place at any time now. We're, uh, things have fallen into place very rapidly that allow uh, Jesus to come back at any time. Uh, but this comes from Matthew chapter 25, beginning at verse 1. It's called the parable of the ten virgins. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took the lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in the jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. But at the midnight cry rang out, here's the bridegroom, come out and meet him. Then all the virgins woke up, trimmed their lamps, and the foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. No, they replied, there may not be enough for both of us. You instead go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went with him in the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later the others also came, Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know the day and the hour. Jesus is coming soon, and uh, you need to be ready. And this song is about that home going, the great wedding in the sky, the banquet, the feast, if you will, of the bridegroom, the church, and the bride. Excuse me, the bridegroom, Jesus Christ, and the uh, the bride, uh, the church of Jesus Christ. So this is Beulah Land. Ready, dear? I'm kind of homesick for a country to which I've never been before. Sad goodbyes will there be spoken, for time won't matter anymore. Sweet. 
Stay strong and keep the faith.